Your brain knows within 0.02 seconds if your body is under attack from a chili pepper, but not because of your taste buds. The hot spice in a pepper isn't a taste at all. It is pure pain. Heat sensing pain receptors in your mouth send a signal to your brain that your tongue is literally on fire. It's the same response as if you touched a hot stove. So how does a super hot pepper make you feel the burn? This is a habanero pepper. And this is Jacob. Would you like a pepper? Yeah, I'd love one. See, Jacob is an insane person, and he eats spicy foods for fun. The crazy thing is that, you know, the main ingredient in the habanero, which is 35 times spicier than a jalapeno pepper, by the way, it's capsaicin. And capsaicin is also the active ingredient in pepper spray. Why don't you go ahead and take a bite of that, Jacob? Down the hatch. Oh, it's kicking in now. Wow, he's twitching a little bit there. <laughs> it only takes seven seconds for the pepper to reach Jacob's stomach. So what exactly is going on in his body right now? Jacob's 10,000 taste buds are on fire. A split second after hitting his tongue, the habanero's heat triggers the exact same sensory neurons that are affected by abrasive injury to the body, causing the same burning sensation as road rash. His nervous system has been tricked into thinking he's hot, and a moment later, his 3.8 million pores spring open, making him sweat. This form of perspiration is called gustatory sweating, and it's concentrated around his face, hairline, and neck. It cools him down by evaporating and thereby removing the heat from his skin. Down in his stomach, the capsaicin is waging war, not on him, but on bacteria, killing 75% of the harmful strains that infect food. This is why people in warmer climates eat spicier foods. It actually cools them off and it kills the bacteria that thrive in hotter, wetter environments. You know, Jacob, I think it might be time to put you out of your misery. Are you interested in maybe some water, some milk, uh, something yeah, like yeah. Um... Capsaicin is concentrated in oils in the peppers. Water and oil don't mix, so water is useless for extinguishing the heat. Alcohol can dissolve capsaicin, but beer isn't concentrated enough to be effective. The best bet is milk. It contains a protein called casein that surrounds the capsaicin and washes it away like soap. <laughs> what a wimp. <laughs>